Hey guys. What is going on, everybody? <clears throat> it's Vatred here. And it is what I'm hoping for, or hoping to be, the last um, Tex Murphy stream. How is everybody doing tonight? I see Brock, Maya, and JKH holding it down for me in the chat. How are you all doing tonight? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Glad you all could make it. So yeah, let's... um. Just get right to the game here. And uh, see what we've got. So where we last left off, Tex ended up in, um, I guess, 2037 Alcatraz as a result of his uh, investigation.
uploading a planet side vid thanks to moist i got a clip and made it 10 times better yeah i saw um in like the we were asking him at least uh where the clip came from and you were able to pin it down so that's awesome to hear can't wait to see it so we got the alcatraz cells here so we got to be careful of this little robot fucker who's going to follow us around. A security droid. I guess it's not going to worry about me as long as I'm in the cell. Yes, as long as we're in the set in a cell, it won't matter. Hmm, this wall looks pretty shaky and I just as soon avoid a cave in. I've got to create a hole large enough for me to crawl through. But it'll have to be perfectly square with no other gaps. All right, so perfectly square, no other gaps. So we'll take one there. Take the second one from there. Mm. We'll do this one. It's like a big game of Jenga. Right there. There. Patron's favorite puzzle. Oh, you know it, Maya. I love it. I guess I can't move that brick if it's the only thing supporting the one above it. Hmm. So we just need to make a perfectly square opening here. That should be all there is to it. Does that solve us? So that doesn't do it? What? That's how we get our opening, right? Or do we got to get... Or do we got to open in, like, bigger? I wonder. Hmm. Mm hmm. Trying to look at something here. Ah. Okay, so I see what it I see what it wants me to do. I just had to look at something really quick. Super seducer. <laughs> that 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 was a fun one, wasn't it? We'll um we'll have to get back on there one day and do the uh last few scenarios for Super Seducer. But anyway, back to the puzzle. Cause we can we can do this. I'd like to reset it though. Honestly. Because I feel like this is our perfectly square opening. You're not going to... Nobody's going to notice that. Right? Like, no way.
Like, that seems to be... If any bricks are overlapped. So I can't, I can't have anything overlapping. That, that seems to be our issue here. This is a, this is an odd puzzle. Oh, did we get it? I guess we did. So we're in the next cell over. Now this is what I call progress. These mattresses give the phrase, don't let the bed bugs bite, a very real and disturbing meaning. So we pick up this brick. Unfortunately, the bars don't seem to have corroded with age. What's the fucking point? I, I agree, JKH. I didn't see how that was um, necessarily. Instead of Googling... Well, I mean, the game has its own hints. I could just well, use the those, quite but... A number on the shelf. Uh, laser torch and a roll of electrician's tape fell off the shelf onto that tarp, but I can't reach it. Uh, so now we need a way to reach it. This makes a nice makeshift grappling hook. What if there's anything around here to grapple? So we've made our good uh, makeshift grappling hook. See, I'm not even having to Google some of this stuff. I've just played through so well, many text that won't work. scenarios that I, I know. Makeshift grappling hook. I know it'll work. It has to work. We just got to make sure that fucking robot ain't near well, that's us. That's not going to work. That doesn't seem to do anything. What do you mean? It's got to do something. Nothing I can combine it with? That we can get inside of the cell here? Maybe you look up. Well, that won't work. Ah, there's how you do it. This feels like Gmod prop hunt. <laughs> So we got all this stuff near us now. What is that, a caulking gun? Where did that come from? A laser torch. And some electrical tape. Can't let those little buggers get us either well the brick did quite a number on the shelf Oh, look at that. Fucking Tex is just using a dab torch to fucking cut the bars open. What what a shrigma male. Look at it. That quick, I huh? I crawled through the hole in the bars, climbed over the railing, and jumped down to the cell block floor. I quickly realized I had two problems. One, I had no idea where to start looking, and two, the cell block was being monitored by a security droid. It wasn't that smart, but if I wasn't in a cell when it passed me on the ground level, GG I'd be player. Hamburger helper. All right, let's make a quick save. Because we need to move quick. As long as we're in a cell, the droids don't seem to care. 
what we do. But if they see us outside of a cell, they're going to be pissed. Most of the cells appear to be locked. So we've got to move fucking swiftly. Okay, here's a cell. Super jail. Right, I mean, for 2037, Alcatraz is a really, real fucking shithole. I figured at least 2037 prisons would look a little better. And we gotta worry about this little bastard. Most of the cells appear to be locked. Nothing in that cell. I hear him making the rounds. Better hide. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get around that pile. Just a pile of... Looks like I'll need a key. Random assorted junk, huh? I can't get that from here. You need the magnet, Tex. Fucking magnets. How do they work? We didn't pick up the magnet. Damn, we gotta we gotta hunt for the magnet. Unsafe stairs. The stairs, they're not safe. Whoa! Wow, okay. Apparently his detection's only a couple of feet. That's good. Because I was right in front of that thing. And he didn't notice. Oh, and no, that is locked. For a second, I thought I saw an open door. No way to get through here. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get around that pile. Okay, so far it's just a bunch of stuff we can't get around. Hopefully, one of these will open. So maybe our key is getting one of those other things to open. Because we did see a few of those laying around. One of them might have what we need. What's this? Maybe I should unroll this. Oh, barbed wire. That makes a nice little grappling hook. Tex, the master of grapple. All right, all right, all right. I see you. Little stupid ass security drone. Can't see me. A key. Hey, hey. All right, so we made it into this cell now. Oh, I'm sure this sign headed off a lot of potential problems. Persons procuring or er, concealing escape of prisoners are subject to prosecution. Good to know. These stairs must lead up to the guards' quarters. 
Well, that's not gonna work. Well, it was worth a try, Tex. I, what can I say? All right, what can we do here? Let's flip this over. What's that? Ah, a gas mask. Okay. Safety first. No um, biting, hitting, or pushing. All knives should be checked. With duty guards, no profanity. Yeah, watch that profanity. Oof, tone down that profanity in Alcatraz. Uh, do on to others, but don't get caught. Usually it's do on to others is um, they do on to you. But uh, no, it's just... Uh, <laughs> do on to others, just uh, don't get caught. I uh, love it. Okay, silverware is to be used for eating meals only. Drop soap should be left on the shower floor. Um, the guards are your friends, but do not feed them. Be sure to use clean needles when administrating intravenous drugs. And, uh, hey, smoking's bad for your health, uh, if you didn't know. All right, great rules for Alcatraz. I can get down with that. A clean inmate is a happy inmate. This visiting station brings visiting station brings back fond boyhood memories of going to see Uncle Jack. Oh, you, go, you used to go visit your Uncle Jack in prison, Tex? <laughs> Even after all these years, the chairs are still in working condition. I know, it's amazing. The chairs are still in working condition. Who'd have fucking thunk it? Looks like I'll need a key. There's a key? What is that, another pass card? It's the guard's pass card. Alcatraz security. Let's read this. Hospital rules and regulations. USP Alcatraz. Medical attention is available to all inmates. A daily sick call in main cell house at 12.30 p.m. Notify an, os uh, an officer. <laughs> officer. Notify an officer for medical attention. When you receive a medical lay-in, you will remain in your cell, except for religious services, meals, and movies. Because, you know, hey, who doesn't uh, love a good movie? I, I sure do. A good popcorn and classic uh, enjoyer myself. If you are notified by the medical officer at a sick call, remain in your cell for... Um, Hospital call-out, you must do so. They got Alcatraz up and working in the future. It's 2037 Alcatraz, Moist. It's amazing. Put on, I redeemed that shit. It's like you just fucking spawned into existence in the chat as soon as I thought. Just because of this one section, it's like, oh, in movies. Yeah, you know. Fucking remain in your cell during a medical lay-in, except for religious services, meals, and, of course, movies. Uh... Keep only those medications issued to the hospital staff in your cell. Empty and unused bottles. And, you know, empty bottles. Hey, I'm like an empty bottle. Uh, they're, but they're to be returned to the uh, West End desk. No medications will be kept in your cell longer than 30 days. Damn, I'm a PI, not a doctor. But these rules do seem pretty sensible. Oh, excuse me. Can I do anything with this door? This door must lead to the infirmary.
This can't be the only thing we can do in here. What if in what if Tim is in Alcatraz right now? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, some people speculate that it could have been like um, relatives of the Electric Sun victims coming out to get Tim, because just because it's High Ranch is like a little plot of land out in the desert, very well could mean that it's the same plot of land where the Electric Sun desert music festival was um held at just uh food for thought you also said the location that's true the rats could have been looking for him These stairs must lead up to the guards' quarters. That won't work. Why not? It's the guards' pass card, you motherfucker. Come on, Tex. Do something cool. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, I guess, um... Well, there doesn't seem to be any way in this fucking other door. That's the first thing throwing me. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Vader. What's going on? Thanks for stopping. Hey, guys. Hopefully, one of these will All right, probably should make another save really quick. Just, hey, guys. Just because. Got yourself to level 54 on Dark Souls. Damn, you've been on the grind set then. Well, I commend you because I, um, I did not have the, uh, I did not have the fortitude to do it. think I'll be able to get around that pile. Well, Chronic hasn't streamed for like uh three or four days now. Nobody really knows how he's doing. He's uh apparently playing Elden Ring on his PS5 now, I think. Texas is all like, oh, hopefully one of these will open. Well, I don't think I'll be able to get around that pile. Well, I seem to be at an impasse here. There's probably a clever solution that I'm not thinking of. I mean, this is Tex Murphy, after all. That doesn't seem to do anything. I know. I kind of want to play MLB The Show again, but... I still think they should just put out a dedicated PC release, and so I don't have to buy a console. That's my feeling on it. So do both these sets of doors just let out into the same area, or are these different? Oh no, this is different. New stuff. Hopefully, one of these will open. Looks like I'll need a key. We need a key to get to fucking cell block D. Well, that won't work. And not a key card, but a physical key. Naturally, I would have been crazy to Fuck. try that. I got caught. Luckily, there was another way out of the situation without getting myself killed. 
I mean, I've got a PS4. The droid in cell block C was more sophisticated than the others. If it passed directly overhead, or if I was anywhere near it on the ground floor, I'd get roasted. Alright, well, good thing I saved. I had the wherewithal to just know that I was going to die soon. But yeah, I've got my PS4. I just never really committed to, um... Fucking getting anything newer on it. Especially because I only really had it for MLB The Show. And some of the next gen features like the stadium builder and stuff aren't even available on the PS4 versions. So it just kind of turned me off from the whole idea. Planet Side 2. Is this some good shit? It's free, huh? Okay, we gotta be careful. We got a little more sophisticated of a droid looking out. We can't afford to get caught. That wouldn't have Fuck. been I went too quick. Gotta move quick. It's the name of the game here. Gotta be swift. Like Phil Swift. From the Flex Seal family of products. We gotta be that swift. Get that off. I'll need a screwdriver. Screwdriver. Ah, uh, you can get the PS2 games on PS4 with PS Now. But not, like, backwards compatible from, like, a hardware standpoint as in reading the discs. Ah. Moise needs to play Planet Side 2 a lot. We got a, got a Planet Side expert here. Okay, we got a key. What's this, this for? This is the key to Cell Block D. All right, Cell Block D. Let's go. He's making a pass. So I had no choice but to pursue another solution. Ah, he was right on my tail. I should have known.
Can't let this little fucker get on top of me. Or see me on the ground level. He's a little tougher. Let's use that cell block D key. What's all in there? This cell's full of ancient supply crates. Probably too old to be of any use, but I better check it out. Eh, too old to be of use, but eh, Tex might check it out. It's too bad that laser cutting torch that just looked like um, a butane lighter that you'd light up your dab with. Uh, too bad Tex didn't hold on to that. He could have cut through like multiple of these doors. No door would have been safe. Cell door control, huh? Oh, I see. E plus zero equals two. Okay. So we got to do some algebra here. Amazing. But O minus E equals eight. This thing looks pretty corroded. I guess it only controls the 10 cell doors on the ground level. And if it's not working correctly, it'll be a trick to figure out where to move the lever to open the cell I want to get into. So we got right and left switch here, I'm assuming. That one's all corroded. We can't even move it past there. So we only have one option for control there. Now I guess we just figure out which door we opened with that method. We opened this door. So that's two. This is two. Three, four. So we should try to go for four. And that should open the supply crate door. Now we just exit and hope that worked. Oh, which door did we open? Now I'm curious. That opened this door. Hmm. Let's try ten. Ah, oh, that got us in here. Whoa, are they just keeping dynamite and Alcatraz just right in one of the cells? It's fucking Pog. This timer and detonator could be a useful item. Fucking based 2037 Alcatraz. This cell's full of ancient... Yeah, this crate feels totally empty. Yeah, this crate feels totally empty. All right. Da -da -da -da. Oh, well, that's no use. Guess our only option now is to go downstairs. I don't believe any of the other cells were worth um, getting into. 
Ah, the Alcatraz Dungeon. It's the Dungan. It's like Terry and Vision. Can look around in the garbage bin of the Dungan. Well, supply crates. Gideon must be planning on holing up here for a while. This must be where they kept the barrels of swill for the prisoners. All right. Well, supply crates. Gideon must be planning on holing up here for a while. Just the same fucking well, supply, supply crates. crates. Supply yeah. crates. Gideon must be planning where they kept the barrels of swill for the prisoners. Oh, that one barrel looked different. I thought this must be where they kept the barrels of swill for the prisoners. Be where they kept the barrels of okay, swill tex, for the prisoners. Okay, Tex, we get it. Thought there'd be something of use in here. But no, some doors. This place stinks. Absolutely useless. This place stinks. My sensitive nasal passages detect a foul odor coming from beyond this door. Let's try the other one. Heavy metal doors. Metal doors. Heavy metal doors. Heavy metal doors. Heavy metal doors. I guess the garbage one's the only one we're able to open. Unfortunately. Heavy metal doors. What do we have down here? Uh, this looks like it came off that droid. It's probably busted. Filter remover tool. Wristbands of the damned. Wristbands of the damned. Sheesh, give me a heart attack. I guess this droid's dead. Do they play Slayer or Metallica when you open them? <laughs> Heavy metal doors. Well, well, this is quite the air filtration system. Must be a clean room and some computer equipment around here somewhere. There seems to be a problem with one of these units. A warning light's flashing. Oh no. Here it comes. That security droid's coming to beat our ass. We stumbled into the wrong place. Maintenance droid replaced the filter and then exited through a door at the end of the hall. I had no choice but to pursue another solution. Oh, hey! Who's that guy? <laughs> oh, no. I think I last saved in what? Cell Block D? We got the dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Wristbands of the damned. Sheesh, give me a heart attack. I guess this droid's dead. Actually, this one looks different from the ones up above. Could be a maintenance droid. Let's look really close here. Cause I feel like there had to be something that we missed here that we can pick up. 
Could be small. This must be where they kept the barrels of swill for the prisoners. This place stinks. Can move this trash bag. Oh. There's a dirty air filter in the garbage bag. Oh, a dirty air filter. Taped explosives. This must be where they kept the barrels of swill for the prisoners. Okay, so I think we found what we needed to find in here now. Well, supply crates. Gideon must be planning on holding up here for a while. This place stinks. Okay, we'll head over here now. Well, Open up the, the air, air, filtration filtration air filter shit Must again. Be a clean room and some computer equipment around here somewhere. There seems to be a problem with one of these units. A warning lights flash. All right, so now we get the little cutscene with the robot again. Replaced the filter and then exited through a door at the end of the hall. So let's save here. Hmm. I'll need to find something to open this with. This filter is spotless. Must have been replaced recently. That won't work by itself. What do you mean it won't work by itself? Taped explosives. Use them, Tex. That won't work by itself. Spurs spotless. Must have been replaced. I'll need to find something to open the I'll need to find something to open this with. Oh the filtration unit. I'll need to find something to open this with. I'll need to find something I'll need to find something to open this with. This filter is spotless. Must have been replaced recently. Well, where does it want me to put the explosives, I wonder? Well, that's not going to work. No, that won't work by itself. Won't work by itself. What are we missing? To get the bomb to work. This filter is spot. I better not screw around with that. I'll need to find something to open this with. We know here we're about too far. And that won't work by itself. So we've got the air filters opened, but we're still missing something. Heavy metal doors. Could it be? No, this looks like it came off the hands of the damned. That doesn't seem to do anything. Well, that won't work. Important video, huh? Well, give me a sec, and I'll take a look. Well, that's not going to work. That doesn't seem to do anything. That won't work by itself.
Heavy metal doors. This better be the most important thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna make a save. Because I'll, I'll even tab out of the game for this. All right. I'm going to, okay? What? Wait, this is something you uploaded? Now, now I'm hyped. Fuck my mouth. I'm going to, okay? Fuck what? Fuck my mouth. I'm going to, Fuck okay? Fuck my mouth. Fuck my mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I'm going to, okay? Fuck my mouth! I'm going to, okay? Fuck my mouth! I'm going to, okay? Fuck my mouth. Uh, I'm here for it. Hell yeah. Can you believe it though? Will Smith won Best Actor. It's crazy. Tim got kidnapped at the Oscar special. I was saddened. So we got a duck here. Let's try this. We sneaky sneaks. Tactical Tex Murphy mode. Will Smith put the cartel hit on Tim out. Uh, I think it was Giamato. The damned. Giamato took all of ev everyone's high points who had them taken because of the financial disclosure form. He seemed to have Tim over a barrel, and he fucking he cashed in. That's all there is to it. supply crates Gideon must be planning on holding up here for a while some people suspected that maybe even Greg could have been involved because he was acting shady the whole night okay anything worth grabbing wristbands of the damned just more wristbands of the damned. Oh, a screwdriver. All right, now we've got the screwdriver. Now everything's coming together. Nothing else around here. I just wanted to make sure. He's a hidden super genius. I'm a sub genius. Fuck being a super genius. That won't work by itself. Hmm. I'll need to find something to open this with. Huh. Well, I guess we can see what we can do with our new uh, screwdriver here. 
Well, that won't work. Can't take apart one of the things here. Maybe. Well, that's not going to work. Well, that's not going to work. So I guess we have no recourse but to head back up. So we should have at least something we can do with the screwdriver. Which may also be valuable to building our bomb. Because that's, uh, that's what it's all about here in Alcatraz when you're trying to escape. Almost hit begin a new game. All right. Fuck. Things here can see me. This was the best way to get out of its clutches. Otherwise, I was getting caught. Alright, I think he's far enough away. Oh fuck, he's near. We almost got caught there. He's coming around for a second pass. Gotta be careful. He looked right at me, but since I'm in a cell, he doesn't care. Alright, Tex, what are you gonna do with that? This gas canister is ancient. Probably used by prison guards in case of a riot. I wonder if it still works. Poisonous gas canister. There we go, we, we made a dirty bomb, guys. Oh shit. <laughs> Think you're so funny. Fuck. If you'd done that, you wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, 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 I know. And if you'd done that, you wouldn't be here right now. Uh. 
Got to do this again. All right, gotta wait for him to pass again. Easy enough, right? All right, we've made a bomb once again. New save now that we've made it. All right, just got to keep it slow, work our way at a nice, steady pace, and we'll be fine. Alright, here comes the air filter bomb, baby. Oh, gassed out the whole room. Tex, you fiend. No doubt about it, this is the area I need to get into. Judging by the amount of hair on this brush, I'm guessing Mr. Gideon may want to check into a hair replacement system before too long. Ooh, sick burn. Link's LS mug. I've got to play that one of these days. Link's LS. Oh. At the rate I'm going, security guards everywhere will start referring to me as the Sandman. Monitor. Guard must have been occupied while I was making my way down here. It's so hard to find good help. Yeah, Tex, uh, you knocked out a lot of security guards, and you, and you slipped a couple uh, Mickeys. And we got some of Gideon's hair. You never know when you're going to need that. DNA lock. DNA, not matched. Well, 
there you go. There's your DNA. Oh, it looks like Empire Strikes Back when, like, the Bespin duel almost. <laughs> I haven't felt this Flipped fucking through nervous the DNA since then. And entered some kind of computer control center. I walked up to what looked like a central terminal and typed in the word stalemate. Suddenly a command popped up telling me to insert a pass card. You'd gotten to the system. I got out the eight STG pass cards and inserted one into the console. At that point, it asked me for a password which I had to type in. Stalemate sequence initiated. To deactivate Whew. Overlord, insert pass cards now. Now I gotta remember what all these were. Well, how do you enter the pass card? D, I'm working on pass card D, right? The, the hell is the point of this puzzle? Can I enter the passwords at least? I can't even get the fucking pass card reader to work. Hey, acknowledge my card. We start we'll have to start with A. Naturally, I would have been crazy to try that. Luckily, there was another way out of the situation without getting myself killed. Oh, fuck. So, just kills me if I exit out of the puzzle, huh? Well, I'm, I'm going to look at... So I don't spend too long at this. I'm going to look at the walkthrough on this, because I don't care about guessing the passwords and shit, but... you got to insert each with the appropriate passwords. Yeah, I know that. Nothing special about it. It's just I'm I'm guess I'm not hitting the right buttons. <laughs> I mean at least if it was similar to some of the older puzzles, right? It would have been a tad bit easier to figure out. But let's uh just try it again. Okay. But back down here. We'll make our air filter bomb.
can just waltz right in like we did the last time. This guy didn't seem to take it as hard as the guard did. Hairbrush. Pass card. DNA scanner. Save in case I fuck something up. That doesn't seem to do anything. Judging. I flipped through the DNA scanner and entered some kind of computer control center. I walked up to what looked like a central terminal and typed in the word stalemate. Suddenly a command popped up telling me to insert a pass card. You'd gotten to the system. I got out the eight STG pass cards and inserted one into the console. At that point, it asked me for a password which I had to type in. Stalemate sequence initiated. To deactivate Overlord, insert pass cards now. Okay. So that's that's the first one. I knew that. All right. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Damn it, I'm blanking already. Try a different one. Shit. I don't remember a lot of these now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, G was checkmate. That wouldn't have been the best. Oh, damn, this one's timed. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got to do everything within the time. That's uh, the only way this is going to work. I can feel that. Okay, I had most of them... I think I had most of them right. I just didn't have them in the right 
order. Let's try this again. Judging. Flipped through the DNA All right, scanner text. and entered some kind of we computer got control center. I walked up to what looked like a central terminal and typed in the word stalemate. Suddenly a command popped up telling me to insert a pass card. You'd gotten to the system. I got out the eight STG pass cards and inserted one into the console. At that point, it asked me for a password which I had to type in. Stalemate sequence initiated. To deactivate Overlord, insert pass cards now. Got two minutes. Queen. Let's try. I think this one was Castle. Okay. Night. Mm. Draw. See, one of these is bishop, I think. Fuck, one more. Oh, look at the text with the VR set. What a what a Shrigma headset. I want one of those. Fuck the Oculus. Oh, he's going into VR chat to play fucking chess with Gideon. Immediately, Mr. Murphy. Sorry, Mr. Gideon, I can't do that. You don't understand what you're doing. I am not the enemy. I know, but Overlord is. Oh. Then you do not understand its purpose. I think I do. Look at this! You know, <laughs> came to overtaking your system. <laughs> Amazing. A calculated risk, my friend. It is the only solution. Well, a lot of innocent people have been killed. I'm just trying to make sure there are no more victims. It is better that some die, rather than allow the entire planet to degenerate into total chaos. No one's got the right to play God. Yeah, no one has the I right to play God, it's Gideon. Unconscionable. But the fact is, it's done every day, and moreover by people who aspire to nothing more than avarice and domination. What do you imagine stopping me will accomplish? Well, what do you think you'll accomplish? Overlord is the hope, Mr. Murphy. Overlord, oh, it's the hope. With it. I can influence events in the global. He's gonna control the entire political realm. Good for you, maybe. Good for all those who respect. Install Mercy some fucking and just, Law and Order Party assholes to just a little bit to run the world, here, Mr. Gideon. It wouldn't be the first time you lost control of your creation. Law and Order Party was gonna use it for its own purposes. Other groups are gonna try, and eventually one of them's gonna succeed. This little nightmare of yours has got to be destroyed. It's only inevitable. Oh, I pity your blindness. And regret that you cannot be reasoned with. Let the match begin. Oh, no. Oh, I 
I'm afraid not. I'm black, right? But, um, <laughs> you have the first move. No, you, in fact, you're not, Tex. Well, oh, that's good. Found myself looking out over a huge virtual chessboard covered with chessmen. Gideon had said that I was white, which of course had fewer pieces. Some type of 3D interface popped up with a menu of eight possible moves on it. As far as I could tell, Call had programmed it so I'd have to choose the correct sequence of moves in order to checkmate the Black King and deactivate Overlord. Whew, so what are our moves here? Let's preview... God damn it, I'm not a chess guy. Let's go RD1. Okay, he moved his queen here. I've got pawns, king, bishop, queen, and a bishop. Hmm. The knight can checkmate right away. He's got his king here. I could go two up, one over, and just take the queen. Boom. Right there, easy peasy. I mean, this is the final boss of the game. We gotta make sure our moves are fucking right here. Or wait, that's our king, not our knight. I think the knight's labeled an N. That's weird. Yeah, king to f1 is the only move we can make with the king. Could take a rook over to um, what's that? E7. Take the knight. That's gonna at least put him in check, and the king would just take mine. But I could move another rook in place and have him locked in. I think that might actually be the play. So what would that be? Rx e7? R to e7? Let's try that. Check. Okay, he just moved another knight over there. We still have our queen on the board. Queen to d7 would be a move that would just take a pawn, would throw us into check, but if I move the bishop out of the way, the rook's got him locked in. GG easy do. He, he is not one yet. Um, I'm going to try to checkmate him with the rook. I'm thinking queen to d7. Cause, you know, hey, I still got the queen piece here. We're, we're playing with fire. Or would that be bishop to d7? No, it's saying queen to d7. How the hell does the queen get to d7? It's by taking a pawn. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, queen to d7. Just preview it. Now, that's the move I want. Check. Boom. GG easied with the king. So we've got bishop to e7, capping a knight, but that would just get taken by the king, or could be. We've got pawn to e7, which would also take the knight, bishop to f5. Would be this bishop behind the pawn. Right? Yep. Let's do that one. That's another check. He moved the knight, or he moved the king back. 
Night abbreviated with N is kind of weird. So what do we got here? Still have bishop, e7, taking a, what, a knight? Okay. Got pawn to e7, taking the knight, moving our king. And the bishop to d7, which would corner the king, move him up. But if he moves up there, the rooks got him. Right? Yeah. BD7. Check. He moved over here. Got three moves. Bishop EX7 would have him here. He could come here. But then I would have him with the rook. Still have that same pawn move. And then moving our king. Yeah, BEX7. Let's do it. Overlord. System deactivated. GG easy. I'm a chess master. Boom. We're blowing up fucking Elon satellites. Gideon can't win. We're the ultimate VR chat chess player master. Get meta versed. Checkmate, Mr. Gideon. Oh shit, is he gonna fucking blow his brains out? Oh no. Don't do it, Mr. Gideon. Oh shit, he's gonna do it. <laughs> Tex is like, damn. Over a chess game. Is Fallen Legend when he finally fucking has had enough of movie battles? Your case is finished. I've been saving this to celebrate my success. I suppose I should drink yours. <laughs> well, that's a weird way to phrase that. Here, have a drink. I know I'm gonna go to jail or whatever. Tex doesn't trust that drink. I wouldn't. Tex has slipped enough Mickeys to know when he's being slipped one, but he's just gonna chug that shit. Bottoms up. He's like, fuck. He's probably just got coating in that cup. Smoke a lace cigar? Sure. Tex is like, fuck, you got Fenty in this bitch? <laughs> They're lighting up that fucking Fenty pack blunt. Oh, he's like, nah, I'm saving that for later. It's a little celebration. Five bags of popcorn. Here, let me push you off this ledge really quick. <laughs> Mr. Murphy. I shan't be needing it anymore. Is that... Is that it?
Oh shit, he did it. But Tex has a cool lighter now. So it's all cool. Find a penny, pick it up. All the day you'll have good luck. <laughs> what, the, what was that cut? <laughs> See you, Buck. Harley. Oh, is that the detective's rule book? <laughs> Fucking garbage. So, Mr. Tex Murphy, private investigator. Are you yeah, it's only good luck if you find it heads up. Depends. That is true. What's in it for me? Give you a little taste. Oh, Tex is gonna get a little taste. You know, he did do it all for the nookie. You're talking. <laughs> well, how about a romantic night in the Caribbean? Our sun-filled days on the beaches of Rio. How about skiing in the Alps? Yeah, don't Tex ski. still has the VR set on, I'll he just forgot. To ski, among other things. Tex is just interacting with some cat boy that's horrible. probably in the Midwest. Like picket fence, <laughs> kids, dog kind of guy. We'll talk about that later. Right now, we have the whole world to explore. Yo, what's up, Matron? Chloe, what's going on? You know, so it's the end of the Tex Murphy Overseer. You're well, just in time. We solved the mystery. I think we Tex need to get got an investment the girl. counselor. He, he did it well, for the Nookie. 850000 I've already spent a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. But that reminds me, I got a little something for you. Hold on. Yeah, she's got a little something. You didn't have to do this. Had to play a VR chess game with the crippled dude. GG easy him. Oh! This is in celebration of solving your first case. Damn. Tex is like, oh, I haven't had a girl show me leg like that for a long time. In an Indiana Jones hat. All great detectives wear hats. How'd you know I was just I the thought you should have perfect a fedora. shitty mix between Dick Tracy and Indiana Jones? Look, didn't this hat works for perfect. <laughs> I paid way too much for it. I like how the main villain just gives up after losing one chess game, right? Like, how does his whole overlord system that, like, controls, like, what I'm assuming to be, like, all of the nuclear What's arms this? and this can fucking take over the government and shit. Humphrey how does just Bogart. losing a chess game release control of that, right? I know how much you like him. I don't know. Here, help me try it out. Maybe we can put it in a frame or something. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, he's even got his own trench coat say to thank match. thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia. Oh, damn, Would she's got... One? She's got one of these. My fucking... My mom used sure to don't. use one of those. The Why fucking not? metal cigarette tin. She's got cigars in hers, though. That's That's Pog. Gideon was probably right. No, he wasn't. You were. Hey, this is not a perfect world. Right, I mean, a high IQ to be. intellectual but the like most Gideon, important who was, like, thing dominating is our the freedom. Chess league. The if freedom to make choices for ourselves. To an amateur like Tex, he and knows yes, he's not worthy every of now and again, maybe the, the freedom power to make an occasional mistake. You are much too critical of yourself. An honorable one, like Vader said. <sighs> it's just that... I guess I'm not used to hanging my heart. But then again, out there's no sleep. honor among thieves, and I feel like I'm bleeding all over you. Hey, whose idea was it? I'm sure it was Gideon mine, wasn't to have this talk. Somebody. And you know what? I appreciate how honest and forthright you've been. Hell, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sitting here with the world's most wonderful woman, and I haven't been able to make a commitment to you. No, I saved my commitment for women like Sylvia. 
who cause me nothing but grief. Sonny and Gideon, they were right, because I didn't know anything about life. And I was just getting set up for a big fall, I can tell you that right now. Didn't even take very long with Sylvia. I mean, Sylvia was the only woman that I ever trusted I enough with my heart. And not only did she not want FMV it, she punched so a hole good. in it with her high heel really? as she walked out the door. I am so sorry that you've had to go through all this. I know how hard this has been for you to, to open up and to talk to me. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling very vulnerable and I feel stark naked. But, for some strange reason... Why did sitting at, here at the table just get cut it. out? I saw it in the subtitles, but Tex never read Good. the line. Did they just dub it out? <laughs> because I know how hard it is for you manly men to open up to us women. But sometimes... Yeah, it, Tex is a manly man. No girls allowed. And who knows, maybe it'll get rid of all those nightmares you were telling me about. Yeah, that'd be nice. In his office, that's just as much a 12-year-old's clubhouse as it is an office, color. but also a, a shack that he lives in with just right the now, cot in the closet. <laughs> we're Tex is a strange man, very but good I love friends him. who happen to be attracted to each other. Extremely attracted to each other. Oh, okay. <laughs> Said a few minutes ago about what are those? Look at those talking. shoes. I think the, the hell was Tex wearing? Very, very was it just the lighting, or it looked like he just had some old man tennis shoes on? Oh, Tex is gonna be like, it's 2037. Cigarettes are five dollars each individually. You pick that shit up. Look at that kissing. Oh no! What? It's me. It's me. Man. It's my breath. No. I remember taking a film you. class or something, and they look, talked about on-screen kisses and how it has been you're not supposed to see up the our car. Oh, up the girl's this. nostril when the kiss-like angle is going know. on. Just too good to be and. We got, like, straight-up nostril all the way on that. But you know what? I think it's time to throw away those old film archetypes, and, you know, Tex was right on top of it. Why don't we take a cab home, we'll call the police from home, and then tomorrow we'll call the insurance company. You don't have insurance? Oh, Well, I did have insurance, but the fact that... Tex, you don't have insurance in 2037? You're going to be taken back to Alcatraz. the police can help you track. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the police are going <laughs> to drop everything for Murphy's missing speeder. You can tell this game was made before you were required right. to have you car insurance. You what? Hell no, if you want it, take it. You okay? But I guess you speeder know, insurance would be different. Mama. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. Is that Cowboy Bono? Giving him a ride? It's like some sort of deja vu, I'm whispering for some reason. Don't be stubborn right now. You know what? We would really appreciate it, would you? Hop in. Thank you very much. Glad to help. Oh, look, his head is even uglier than yours. What's wrong with my hat? Yeah, hop in, mate. My name's Bono. I've been transitioning into country western music. <laughs> Uh, shame to lose such a cute parking spot. Yeah, well, thanks for reminding me. Sorry about that. Pretty about the speeder. We'll be okay. Hey, thank you very much again for the ride. Pleasure. Glad to help. Damn, now this is what I'm talking about with post-game, like, end-game cutscenes. These FMV games slap. I mean, you're getting... Like 15 minute end cutscenes almost. Like, it's like you get to watch a little TV show at the end. It's awesome. Rule 24. 
Don't take rides from strangers. Uh oh. It's not adding up. The PI handbook didn't talk about this. This is not a good idea. What do you want me to do about it? Another one 50 feet off the ground? I don't know. Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peach. Well, things could get worse, huh? Worse? Oh, shit. Oh! What? They cannot leave us on a cliffhanger like that. They can't. What the fuck? Joe Estevez, John Klaus, there's our boy. Ah. Oh. The Connors brothers, Aaron and Chris Connors. I mean, five bags of popcorn. I mean, look at this. Ten CDs in all. One great price. $29.99. You get Under a Killing Moon and the Pandora Directive, I think. Yeah, look at that. Usually sold separately, $19, but $29. We need to call that number. 800-800-4880. Call now. Congratulations, you've successfully completed Tex Murphy Overseer on the gamer level. Your score is a 2,766 points out of a possible 4,000 points. Well, this was the 90s, Moist. Yeah, we're talking about five discs per game, if that's the case. Five discs per game. Amazing. 10 out of 10. I mean, that's gaming the way it should be. I 100% I agree with that. Man, do you want to watch some videos or something? I usually go for two hours, but we still got about 14 minutes left.